you guys don't know, Bully Juice is another Air Force YouTuber. The sub gap on us is getting a little close. So if you guys wouldn't mind helping me out, click the subscribe button. Or if you want him to pass me this year, then go ahead and subscribe to him. But either way, I'm cool with it. He's going to be talking about his job and what he does in the Air Force. How long have you been in, though, and what rank are you right now? So I've been in the Air Force for four years thus far. I have two more years. I signed a six-year contract. Ha! <laughs> Got <he. laughs> Got he. <laughs> and I'm currently a Staff Sergeant Select. So you're an E4, about to be E5. Correct. Okay. All right, before we get into what exactly your job is and all of that, why did you join the Air Force in the first place? Originally, I actually went to a recruiter for the Marine Corps because my dad is actually a Marine. I grew up a military brat. My dad kind of talked me into going the Air Force route because he said the Air Force actually has, you know, better programs and they're more about technology and schooling and stuff like that. And I also wanted to be able to say that I did something that majority of the population will never do and that served in the United States military. What exactly is your job title in the Air Force and then what is the AFSC code for that? Because people that are joining or looking at this are probably know it by the AFSC because okay. that's what the recruiters say. I'm sure you probably get people that message you that are like, What's yo, I'm a one whiskey, this blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what that means, but I know what the name of it is. Yeah. So for you guys that are trying to figure it out, if you're like, oh, that's what I'm trying to do. So name of the job and AFSC for people that like to know that. So uh, 2T1X1 with ground transportation, now uh, formerly known as vehicle operations. Is that what it was when you signed? Was vehicle ops? It was vehicle ops. Ah. But they, I think they recently changed it to ground transportation. People were getting mad because they're like, Yo, I thought it was going to be like special ops, but with vehicles. <laughs> right, right, right. And then you're like, this didn't add up. Like, what am I doing? Where's the operations at? <laughs> Where's the four wheelers? Special operation gets us, but we're vehicle ops though. Right. Did you get this job straight out of debt or did you sign some sort of open contract? And how long did you sign your contract for? So I actually got this right out of depth. Um, that was one of the jobs I put on my list because one of my buddies, JB, Jerry, if you're out there watching, he actually recommended vehicle ops because that's what he did. He was stationed up there in Washington State. He said it was cold. He recommended this job uh, because of what I planned on doing as far as schooling and things like that. And he told me what the job was about. It sounded cool driving 18 wheelers and huge forklifts and stuff. And So not four wheelers? No four wheelers, man. I, I thought I was gonna maybe get in some tanks or something, but I don't see many tanks, so <laughs> suck. How long did you sign the contract for? Originally, I signed a, actually, funny story. Originally, I signed a four year contract. Four years. And they're gonna ask you over and over and over like when you go to MEPS and at, I want to say I changed mine at basic training. <laughs> Got it. My MTI asked me like, he asked if anybody that was sign four wanted to change it to six. Desperate. <laughs> Not you. Just the right, yeah, yeah, They're yeah. like, are you sure? Are you sure? And you're like, bro, I and told you, you like 12 times. You and sure? you know what? I think that's a smart tactic because, you know, you're not thinking straight at basic. No. You have your MTI come at you, son. I don't even remember them asking it, but that's because I had already signed a <laughs> six-year contract. They probably didn't ask you. So, like, I didn't even think about it. You. So he asked me and I was just like, sure. <laughs> Planned on doing 20 anyway, so. Why not? Why not? And you didn't even get a signing bonus or nothing for it. I got nothing. Got <laughs> You were like, oh, I had an extra two years for Dude, nothing. For not, I already <laughs> was getting E3. Oh, man. I didn't get... Don't remind me. They got me. you. Don't, they got don't you. remind me of... I have a video on how, <laughs> how it works if you're joining as an E1, E2, or E3. So if you guys right. are interested in that stuff, I'll have the little playlist linked up above. Everything happens for a reason. Right, so yeah. same thing. Like I was always told myself, you know, I kind of wish I would have signed a 4. But then I'm like, ah, but like some things that happened because I signed the six that mm -hmm. wouldn't have happened if I signed the four. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, everything happens for a reason. Just take it with a grain of salt. Me and my wife yeah. talked about that. We were like, now I'm getting so mad. But like, oh, this, if I had one regret, that's it. And then, mm -hmm. I'm, and then she's like, well, at the same time, I don't know if we'd be ready to leave. Like, because March yeah. would be my last day. Like, that's my You have one month. Mark. I have so one, you'd have one month yeah. left. 
is so that you're kind of like, hey, you know what? It's, it's actually good. You're like, like oh, I got yeah. two more years to get comfortable with stuff mm -hmm. before I branch out. So you said this was something that you wanted to do, but what number was it on your list when you listed? Do you remember? This was I know this was a while ago. Job. So I remember. Third? This was the third job on my okay. list. Because I actually, um, I can't first remember two? what it is. If you have a parent or somebody close to you in the military that's a certain rank, they can actually write a letter and you'll get uh, one of your top three jobs. I, I know you know, some guys that have done that because their their dad will be like some officer that's like super high up. Yeah. And so they walked in and got like their number one pick. <laughs> and I'm like, what is this, dude? So I, I want to say my number one job was air traffic control. My third job was definitely vehicle. I remember that because I was like, I'm a third third job. I cannot remember. You must not have wanted to do it that yeah, bad because right, you already right. forgot. <laughs> Probably a good thing you didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I got what I got. Man. So, tech school for ground transportation, where is it? How long is it? Tech school for ground transportation is a little bit over a month long and it's at Fort Lost in the Woods. Fort Leonard Wood. Oh, Missouri. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, it's, heard, it's I've heard of Fort Leonard Wood. Fort Lost in the Woods, what they call okay. it. It's, it's an army base. The Air Force and the Marines was there as a detachment. Gotcha. But the base was an army base. How was the DFAC? The DFAC was pretty good. The DFAC was good. The well, that's was a, good. they have basic training there too for the army. Yes. Okay. Yes. So. Yes. We would see like them guys that were running around. Ah, yeah, we see them all the time. <laughs> and they're like, look at those guys. They, yeah, they weren't smart enough yeah. to get in the Air Force. And then they were making some joke about us always sitting yeah. in a chair or something. Those clowns. Then, they're yeah. always sitting down, but they're standing right now. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> How many bases can you go to, or is there a select few? Because some jobs mm. are limited. I get where you're going. To an yeah. area. So are you just, can you go any base almost? Yes. I can go to pretty much any base. For the most part. When you're an airman as a certain uh, level, you can only go to a handful of bases you can't go to. You know you mm -hmm. know how those bases where yeah. you have to be a, a master sergeant or you have to be a tag at least a level 7 or a 5 yeah. or whatever. But for like level 3, fresh out of tech school, pretty much 95% of the bases you can go to. So there's not going to be a whole lot of restrictions for ground not transportation. Many. Okay, so this is going to be one of the most important questions that I ask, and it's going to be, how can you explain your job so somebody like me that does not know anything about it, or somebody that's interested in this job or looking into it right now that's watching this, hmm. how can we understand what exactly you do? I guess the simplest way I can put it is we take people or things from point A to point B. That can be cargo being the things, whether it's hazmat things, we transport ammo, we transport bombs, we also transport random things like boxes. Say, I don't know what you order, you order something for your plane, Yeah. I take it to you. Somebody order it, comes into the warehouse, pick it up, take it to you. Also somebody, let's say you break down. Well, we're coming to take your vehicle to maintenance. You know, oh. we'll tow your vehicle to maintenance. So you, you can operate a tow truck? Yes. What? That's crazy. See, I didn't know that. <laughs> so we have rollbacks. We have 20 tons. So we're, we're picking up big old, like, uh, dump trucks and stuff. We have a low boy drop deck, all these different things. Dang. That's what we do. So we move things. And we also drive buses, the shuttle, the base shuttle. We drive that. Like, do you get a CDL while you're in? We, we don't have it while we're in because we have our government license gotcha. that I'm you know qualified. We have to qualify for things. everything. But uh, for us, when we get out, all we have to do is get our commander to sign a paper and we take it up there and we get our CDLs. So that's actually could be a good thing, beneficial for some people. If they're yeah. looking to be apply a for a job on the outside, mm -hmm. that would require a CDL. So. Especially, you know, you, you get that hazmat endorsement and things like that. Yeah. You make a lot of money. All oh, the oil. So. Definitely. So, are there any portions of your job, like, say, different departments, so if you're not just driving a truck around all the time? Get what you're asking. So, we have different sections that within vehicle ops that you could be running, in a sense. Equipment, you also licensing. Like, let's say you want to do something for your own section mm -hmm. and it requires you to drive a tractor trailer, then you can come to get us to update your license or get- You guys are the uh, ones, because we had to do forklift training. 
And you guys are the ones that signed off on it. I'm yeah, we sure. certify you. Okay. So you come, no. we test you, and we say, okay, they're good to go. We certify you, put on your license. Yep. So okay. some people need forklift, some people need tractor or whatever. So when you're doing that portion, you're not even driving around. Mm -hmm. You just go in no. there and you're kind of just doing paperwork yeah, stuff. Yeah, you have an office that you kind of do a lot of paperwork stuff and make sure those things are in order. Then you have a tra we have a training section, and then we have dispatch, obviously. Then we have support where you're at. Most of the airmen is at support where you know, you're going to be driving all those things. And okay. dispatch is going to be dispatching you out. So, I mean, it's different sections. We also have a documented cargo section, which is basically uh, pickup and delivery. It's P&D. So, we work with material management guys. Uh, you guys may know them as supply. We work with them. They take packages off the shelves. They put them in a little section. I had actually just done a video them. with somebody that is material management. So, if okay. you guys want to watch that video, I'll link it up above for you guys to check that out so you can kind of see what that job does and then... How he yeah. kind of is the delivery mailman we on work, base for we them. Work hand in hand with them as well. And earlier you said that you will transport people or things. Right. So what kind of people need transported? Because okay. like when I drove to work, I drive from my house right. to base, <laughs> and then I would work, and then I would drive home. Like I didn't need to be transported. So right. Who are you transporting on base, and why? Okay, so we have a, a tech school on base. Tech schoolers, so that's how they get around. Okay, and we have a shuttle route for them, so we actually have a Whoa. lot of tech so schoolers. So, the people that picked us up at basic training in school buses from they, the airport they were probably vehicle ops, they were ground transportation. Yes. picking that was their job, like that was their, their daily task. Yes, if you station at Lackland, you just go pick up they trainees. Probably did, they probably do that. You can go to Lackland as a vehicle operator, yeah. And I'm I didn't even sure think. I didn't even think about that. That's who picked us up at the airport. Was <laughs> so literally when you guys go to basic training and you get to the airport and they line you up and you are getting on the buses to go to Lackland. That's this guy right here. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, we, we doing all type of stuff. When you really think about it, oh, air, uh, air crew as well. Okay, we go to their plane and stuff, pick them up, or like. Air crew go TDY. We pick them up at the plane, take them to the hotel, okay. and then pick them up and take them back to the plane. Sometimes we also, it's almost like a rental service. So we call them UDIs, which is you drive it. We have W or WDIs, which is we drive it. You, you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's weird, right? WDIs. So uh, either you request a driver, let's say you needed something for forklift, but no, you don't have anybody on for then you come to us and we do it for you. Mm -hmm. Or you can request a vehicle and you just come and like rent it out basically. Okay, so we would do that when we went TDY. Exactly. Because we would come pick up like a big like 12 pack a van or something, or something like that. And then, but we'd check it out from you guys. Yeah. Okay, so, so who who's around. the one checking that out then? That's that, Dispatch. Dispatch does that? Yeah. Okay. So out of all these different portions of your job that you've said, so it's not just like one thing that you do. You don't do all of those things every day. Mm -mm. You'll be like in a certain section. So right. out of all of those, what's your favorite section? Honestly, my favorite section was uh, documented cargo thus far. I've only done two different sections. I was in support for the majority okay. of my career. And then I was in pickup and delivery, which is documented cargo. And when I made staff, now they've been training me in dispatch because I'm going to be uh, running swing shifts soon. Okay. The dispatchers. I would say so far I haven't had much dispatch action, but pickup and delivery was my favorite one because as I'm driving, man, I just think, you know, I'm thinking. You don't have to I'm, deal with a lot of people. Don't have to deal with people. I go there, pick up my packages, and we did two sweeps. We did one at nine and one at one. Oh, dang. So, and it took me anywhere from 30 to an hour sometimes to do the sweep. So, you do you do that, and that's it. And then you next sweep. Knock out some other training or whatever you got to do for this day, and then just take care of your own stuff. And or record some YouTube awesome. videos. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Smart. Thinking ahead. Yeah. Anybody that's watching this video that might be interested in this job, that's how they found this, because they're like, hey, I might put this on my, my, my list, mm -hmm. or I just got this job and I have no idea what contract I just signed. All right. Um, so after listening to this video, is there any advice you could give to somebody that is going to take this job? Definitely 
Uh, believe it or not, my career field was one of those ones. I actually mentioned this before, where we also did convoys. Oh, we did convoys with the army. We also deploy a lot. The same band that I deployed with last year, we got tasked to deploy again, like back to back. We hadn't even been back for six months to deploy. You tasked again, so and we have a very high tempo band. We're, we're not one of the ones that's like. You deploy once every blue moon. Yeah. We we got people deploy now. When they get back, we got other people leaving. Nice. Every place need vehicle operate. Like we talked about before, every base. Like deployments, when you show up <laughs> and you get there and you're like, yo, how do we get to where we're supposed to sleep? These we're guys are doing they'll that. They'll be there to pick you up. Yeah. I remember when a bunch of people would come into the base. And when we was deployed, a bunch of people would fly in for their rotators, right, mm -hmm. to sw do swap outs. We would be driving out there, meeting them at the plane with like four buses, four Dang. big old buses, loading up. them up. And baggage, what do, you th what do you think we're doing? We're driving a big old tractor trailer out there, and they're throwing all their baggage in the back, and oh. we're driving to another section. So See, I did not know a lot of this. I'm going to learn so much like doing this after I'm out of the Air Force, yeah. asking all these people about their jobs. There's just so much to every single job that I just didn't know about. Well, it was actually funny because it never really clicked with me. But when I went TUI to Alaska and this dude picked us up and he was driving us to the hotel and I went to get off and I was just like, oh, I was like, like, what's your job, man? Yeah. And he's like, this is my job. <laughs> and I was like. Oh, okay, like I, and I'm just thinking like, yeah, he's like a part of like some maintenance squadron and they just were like, yo, go drive this bus and pick these dudes up. I didn't realize that was actually that his guy's job. job. Like I understood it was his job in the moment, but it just now clicked with me. That was literally his job was to drive around a bus and pick people up when they need picked up. You know, you want to know what else is cool? What? We're kind of like chauffeurs as well. Cause we're we're the ones that's driving around the chief of staff, the secretary of defense. So you guys can meet I've, a lot I've of driven high all end those guys. people. Yeah, like a lot of top brass in yes. the military. You can meet them doing your job. Yeah, because exactly. we're the ones that driving around to see all of you guys' different spots. We just sit in the freaking thing, ten and two. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what you're taught? It's to be like ten uh, Not necessarily. It's Probably. just you. It's just. You're trying I'm, to be professional. I'm a relaxed person, but when you get around them, you automatically like, you're okay, like, don't make no mistakes. You they're know like, what I'm dude, this dude is like on top of it, man. I've never seen anybody drive you're this young, professional. You want your uniform, Chris, your hat. You know, most people take their hats off in the vehicle. I don't ever take my hat off. I, I don't want to look in the mirror. I just bring it down like this, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah. I'm just, you speak when spoken to, you know what I'm saying? You just go. It's They're like, this airman, I like this guy. This, this is a good guy. This you good leave, guy. they coin you, and then it's like, yes, sir. Salute him, keep him moving. And that's awesome. Yeah. That's pretty cool, see? <laughs> Learn something new every day. Hopefully you guys appreciate this video. You learned a little bit more about ground transportation. And uh, hopefully we can help you out. If you haven't subscribed to Bully Juice, then go do that. Show them some love and then subscribe to me as well. And we're here to help you guys. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in another video. Peace out.